Hi everyone, today I'm going to review in Love and Hip Hop Hollywood Season 3, Episode 8. So we have Princess and Ray. Y'all know she been getting on him like, I need you to put down the scooty bikes and the spurs. We need to worry about wedding preparations right now. But now he's like too involved. Like, we just, I just want you to make a list. I do not want you to invite every person that you have ever met. Like, I don't need you to bring, yo, when you was in preschool together, the per first person you said, hi, let's be friends. That person does not need to be at our wedding. But I guess she's on this, like, you got all these people, and I got 12 people on my list. And, like, I still want my daddy to walk me down the aisle, even though we haven't spoken in a year. And before that, it was 10 years, because, like, she wasn't raised by her parents. Her parents divorced when she was five. Why neither one of them raised her is beyond me. She was raised by grandma, but, like, is grandma even going to be able to make it? Because... She's up in age, she's sick, she can't really fly or not supposed to fly or don't want to fly. So she's like, what am I going to do now? And here is my like public service announcement. Like, if you're getting wedding, don't be spending tens of hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars on this wedding. It's going to last a day most weddings are. Now, you basically make having a party for everybody else. Because you're paying for everybody to come there and eat dance and if you're gonna have alcohol there get their drink on and you didn't spend all this money you didn't spend money on dresses venues food liquor decorations this gonna last you what a day my wedding was nice and beautiful i had a simple dress cost me 118 dollars Somehow I found me a wedding dress at Dillard's. Don't know how that happened, but it did. Nice wedding dress. Got me some shoes from over there at Macy's. Done. I, I bought my veil. Like my whole wedding outfit with my veil, my dress, and my shoes was under $250. You can have a nice wedding. My wedding was still nice without blowing the bank. Cause like you just having a party and I would suggest that they elope but I guarantee you if they try to do like Lyrica and A1 that Sonya would like bust through the wall like Kool-Aid man like no we're not finna do this we are gonna have us a big old wedding. Yeah I love how Fizz was able to give Willie advice on how to get Shonda back seeing as how Fizz hasn't had a stable relationship since he's been on here like it just gets me like people who are not in relationships or not good at keep get staying in relationships I always love to throw out advice about how somebody else should be running their life I'm like okay Fizz you go ahead and do you you go ahead and give that man some advice on how to get Shonda back but my thing is really you in this predicament because of what you did you fell into the trap, got that girl, she was steady texting you. You was probably having a bad day with Shonda and you decided to, hey, let me go ahead and text this girl. And one thing led to another and now you're playing these consequences with this girl and thought that, hey, he want to get back with me. He then probably said how him and Shonda ain't really doing well. So that in her mind was like, okay, that's us getting back together. And when you didn't, she blew your whole situation up. So... This is another lesson, guys out there. Like, remember how your life is going to turn out. You be mad at your spouse one minute, but, like, one thing can just ruin everything. So now, Willie and seeing that, like, hey, I let this one time that he says, you know, this one, you know, time cheating and just ruin my whole marriage. And at one point, he did listen to Fizz and he had flowers all in the background and trying to get her back. But she's like, she just still not ready for them to be there right now she's like I just you know I need to be me I didn't gave up so much of myself for you now it's time for me to be me but I have a question like last season they was like struggling to pay rent so now this season both of them all up in the studio she's able to get a new house I'm guessing that you know that check from Lil and Hip Hop last year and this year is like affording them to do that but like as much as studio time calls, these people on these shows are forever up in the studio. But, like, how many people have actually made an album? Y'all, it brought me so much joy to see Moni's back. Like, I just missed her craziness. I don't know if it's because, like... I hurt my leg like I literally last night went to sleep pain free woke up my leg was hurting like how does one do that and I guess in the like in my pain I needed some like relief I needed some laughter and Monique she provided that she provided that for me and 
Monique, she is back and she is crazier than ever. Her and Masika meet up and Masika tells her how Brandy busted in on her studio session and caused a scene and like basically I didn't waste my money with the studio session and now I can't even get my song together because of the chihuahua. Now Monice, this is when the crazier comes in, which I so appreciated. I miss Monice and her craziness. But anyway, she's like, okay, this is time for double revenge. You're mad at Brandy because of that. I'm mad at her because she's caught me all kind so so many kinds of like bad mothers. But look here. Now, I had to write this down because she's ready for a revenge. She's ready to destroy Brandy's message. She says, the grill master. This is what she calls Max, which I, I hollered when she said that. Like, like it describes him so much because y'all know Max got that, like, I don't know if it's his canine teeth that are long, too big or if his, like, front teeth are too small, but he got this kind of thing and then he like talks at the top but y'all know what's I don't need to describe that y'all know what's going on she says I'm paraphrasing but the grill master caught um, okay he got caught with Becky Brandy was looking for him hopped through a window to catch him and the police were called now she wants to expose them at her listening party and you know a normal sane person be like okay you want to ruin your event but her thing is I'll have other events. Like, when can I publicly expose her except at the reunion? And by then, it's like old news. I want to do this now because this is what I want. See, this is a crazy in Moniz. Masika sees this as a bad idea, but, like, Moniz is like, it's revenge time. Whether it ruins my party or not, I have a wonderful song, and I just want to do this to expose her. And why... Princess and Brandy show up is is beyond me. Like y'all don't like her, she don't like you. So where are you going? Nothing good can happen. So it's the day of Moni's events, and she gets there up on the stage, and she's just calm like, "Hey everyone, thank you for coming. Princess Brandy and I and I we have come a very long way, but Brandy, I want to let you know." that Becky found me and she wasn't giving me lemonade she was giving me tea everyone yes that girl over there Brandy her husband Max was cheating with Becky she found out and she attacked Becky and the police were called yeah 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 it's like I was thinking like a spoken word kind of the way, way she was standing up or like yes she told me that she wasn't giving me lemonade she was giving me the tea and the tea was, Max was cheating with the Becky, and you went over there and went crazy and was climbing through windows, hee hee, and the police were called. But Brandy, in her confessional, she says, it was a very scary situation with Becky. My husband was not cheating, but the police were called, and I am offended that she would lie about my husband and me. I am so offended. Y'all know how she be getting where she's mad and her mouth gets wider than what it should be. But I just thought it was funny because Monice was just sitting up there like, okay, now that they're gone, let's continue on with the festivities. Like, nothing even happened. And I was just... I was sitting here hollering like, no, Moni, it's like, I so missed you and your crazy answers. But Matika's like, okay, this is just going to further. And I'm going to be going back and forth, even back and forth, even more now. And it seemed Princess was even, she was madder than Brandy. Princess was ready to fight. Brandy just went up there like, really? This is all you got? This is all you have to say? Really, but Princess was ready to fight and Monice was standing there and I don't know if this was a crazy in her or that I know there's security right here because I know Monice, she is not scared to fight. But she just stood there like, yes, I did this at my event and I told the world that yes, Max got caught by you cheating with a Becky and you went crazy. And she said she went to the girl, the girl showed her police reports that were actual and factual. Can somebody tell me why Safari is taking Ray J's advice yet again? Like, did you not, like, learn from your last time when you was ever trying? When Ray told you, tell him you want to get with both of them, and you took that advice, and you see how that happened. Even A1 was like, 
I knew that first one wasn't going to happen. So why are you like, why are you listening to his advice again? This man and can let Ray convince him to put an earpiece in his ear so Ray can feed him what to say when he meets up with Nikki. Yeah. And it so reminded me of that episode of Smart Guy when Marcus was trying to get with Tia and Tamara. It just so reminded me of that. But anyways... He gets there, they're talking, and he's like, she's like, what's wrong with you? Why are you standing like that? And like, why are you disrespecting me? Like, you don't sound like yourself. So she, like, brings in somebody he is supposedly hooked up with. Because now she's mad because her friend earlier told her to, hey, she's over there. Oh, my goodness, I feel so bad because Safari, he's a very good man. And I feel really bad about the way I treated him. And Rosa, she didn't already move on, but that's okay. But I'm only thinking about Safari right now. And her friend told her, well, hey, my homegirl was in Vegas or Miami, wherever she was at. And she said she hooked up with Safari. And now she didn't, like hooked up with this girl to like expose him and he's like who was this she's like this is my girl you know her and the girl's like you know who i am poppy you remember it's like no and she tries to bring out proof on, on her phone like a picture but like he's like that's a picture of us out in public like you see people behind us this one doesn't no hotel room or my house or nothing this was us on the dog go to vegas strip taking pictures this don't mean nothing but he's like you know what I ain't got time for this no more, Nikki. I guess she was trying to expose him. But he's like, that is a picture with a fan. Like, that's all you got? So, I was going to so try not to talk about them. But the fact that he was listening to Ray J yet again and when a Ray J, like... When is right like when is his advice? It, it like he never gave you bad advice before. Like why are you listening now? Like really? So that was the gist of my review. If I left anything out, by all means leave a comment or video response. Like I always, I thank my subscribers and the people watch my videos. I want you to like this video, comment, and subscribe, and share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and here on YouTube. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.